first of all, congratulations on the win. But I think the big story we have to address right now is how hurt were you at the end of that first round? I think it was just a flash knockdown, man. Uh, I was out and then I came back too. And it's one of those things, first time in my career I've been dropped. So props off to Tony. Were you able, because of the flash nature of it, were you able to just put it behind you right away, just get back in the zone? Or was there a moment of like, oh, that was not great. How do I readjust and get no, back I mean, on the horse? It really didn't hurt. You know, it kind of just shut the lights off, came back on. It was one of those things. I was still in the fight, still ready to go. If anything, I think it brought out the brawler in me and yeah. let me open up a little bit more. Do you, do you, when you felt that, did you feel him starting to maybe lose the adrenaline? You know, he probably thinks he got it finished. And when you're not going away, you're still there. Do you think it's suddenly a mental thing for him to overcome that you were able to take advantage of? Yeah, especially since I think he landed pretty, pretty flush. Uh, he probably put a lot of power into it and I'm still there. I'm still walking forward. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it does affect you for sure. You're saying that's the first time you've been dropped in your career? I've been dropped to a body shot one time. I've never been hit in the head and put down ever. So it's one of those things, 23 fights, 24 fights tonight, so. Well, in a weird silver lining kind of way, you know you can take a shot and not immediately go out. You know the chin's there, right? That's a good Yeah, thing. man. I, I got hit a lot in the Luke Sanders fight, too. I wish I'd just come in and make it a little cleaner. <laughs> yeah. So it's funny we're talking about you like getting a flash knockdown, but how do you feel right now? Do you feel like you can get right back in there again? or how's, oh, yeah. how's I feel great. Uh, muscles feel good. I'm not tired at all. It was a pretty quick fight. Uh, yeah, I could do that all day for sure. Any ideas when you want to get back in there? Uh, maybe December, middle of December, something like that, and then start fresh next year. Definitely need one more, though, I think. Yeah. Any, any names in mind? Uh, me and Yanez have been calling each other out, but I know he just booked the fight with Davey Grant. Uh, Sean O'Malley likes fighting unranked guys, so I'm here. Anybody the UFC wants to see me against, I'm down. The bantamweight division is pretty much on fire right now, isn't it? I don't think there's any bad matchup that you can put me in there with. It wouldn't be fun. Yeah, that's great. Great division. All right, thanks, man. Thank you. Right after the fight, you, it looks like you um, talked to your opponent. What were you guys saying to each other? Oh, man, Tony is a class act. Uh, I knew that all week. Uh, we've had a couple of interactions with each other. He's just a really good guy. And I just wanted to know, you know, it's one of those things. It's tough to lose. So I just wanted to kind of be there for him. You know, I'm not a big ah, I beat you kind of guy. So it's just one of those moments between fighters. And you mentioned, uh, I believe, Griffin Jones was the name. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, he's a three-year-old boy in Union County, Kentucky. He's battling cancer right now. Uh, he's tougher than I'll ever be. Uh, I'm sure they're at home watching. So I just want, really wanted to give him something and uh, hopefully lift his spirits a little bit. Is there anywhere maybe fans could donate money? Is there like a GoFundMe or anything that you know? Yeah, I set one up earlier this year. I'm going to set another one up, hopefully get a little bit more publicity for it, and uh, we can help them out with some of the medical funds that they're going through. Thank you. Thank you.